Okay, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode, um, I'm going to talk about on how I use makeup. So this past few weeks, I started using makeup as part of my everyday routine and and when I'm going to work. And so far, I'm very happy with the results and how I look with my makeup. Uh, that's uh, for that's for because I want to you know hide these dark spots that I have because of my acne and I just want to share with you guys because uh, I know that this will be very helpful for a lot of you right so a lot of you uh, a lot of us have the same problem I think with you know acne and dark spots so this is very going to be very helpful with you guys okay so before you apply your makeup okay so you might want to like um, wash your face or take a bath before doing it because that would help you know remove all the excess dirt and oil in your face um, that you don't want to bury underneath your um, makeup because that happened your skin might irritate and cause a lot more acne afterwards. So, yeah. so after taking a bath or washing your face, so I usually um, cleanse, cleanse more of my cleanse, cleanse my face with um, my facial cleanser. I use um, Masters Whitening Plus. So I've used it for quite a long time right now and I'm very um, satisfied. Although I don't know if there is any results, um, I just continue doing it because um, it, uh, in the past few months my acne has been lesser in number. So yeah, I just take it. Okay, so you want to, you know, cleanse your face and your skin. So that you know, you're making sure that there are no left um, dirt on your face before putting your makeup. So yeah, I just do it so in circular motion and my nose. And when I'm using my cleanser, I feel so much uh, like feels like more more cleanse on my face. Less oily, I think. Yeah. Because if I don't cleanse my face or don't use any cleanser, it feels kind of like weird, and you know, I feel like there's some oil sticking on my face, so I just um, use it before I apply my makeup. If you don't have Masters brand on your country, you can use any other deep cleanse, deep cleanser. Okay, so this master is especially for men. So if you're a girl, so you can use Bonds or any other brand as long as it is a um, you know facial cleanser. You don't want to forget your neck. If uh, there's still a lot of dirt on your cotton ball, um, you might want to cleanse it again. Okay. Because you, know, you want to eliminate all those dirt. I usually take up like two cotton balls for cleansing. <laughs> but, uh, for cleansing, I usually take up two. But with the makeup, um, when I use makeup and then I wash my face. So I use like three or four to remove all the makeups that are. But before using makeup, I usually take a few. Okay. And of course, don't forget to see how much dirt there are. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so after using your um after cleansing your face with your cleanser, so I am using or applying my sunblock afterwards. So I have my sun protection cream of um, Max Appeal. So it has the SPF how much? 20. Yes, 20. So I apply it after the cleansing so that um, you know I have some protection and uh, it will it will have its first layer of coverage. Okay. So others might um, use moisturizer, so you can. Uh, but for me, this works pretty well. Maxi Peel Sun Protection Cream. So how do I apply this one? So I just um, scoop out um, one finger and my fingertips and then point them in on several areas on my face and of course on my neck. Um, and then I just rub it in all over my face. Until uh, it's just me. Everything is <laughs> everything is covered up. So covered. Up, so yeah. As you can see, guys, I have a lot of um, dark spots on my face because of the previous acne that I have. But I will be completely honest to you. This is a bit. Um, lesser a lot lesser than before so I'm very happy with the results I, I think it's because of the makeup I think, yeah. I think because it um, blocks all the dirt that I will encounter or I will have during my long day on work so yeah this is very helpful although I still have um, a little bit of acne that is occurring on my face but it's a little it's more um lesser than way lesser than before okay so after um putting up your sun protection cream or any other cream that you have so you can start we can start um, applying our makeup okay so first of all I apply first my BB cream um from Nishido I don't know if you can see this. Shido BB cream everyday wear. Okay, so yeah. So before I was like before uh, on the first week, I usually put first my concealer, but I realized that the concealer is like um, useless or maybe um, fading away with um, the BB cream. So I decided to apply the BB cream first before I apply. Consider. Okay. So, same way I apply this BB cream, um, I squish out a little bit on my um, fingertips and then, you know, just putting or dabbing it on my face with little bit, little dots or something like that. I will spread it out all over my face and neck. I don't know if this should be used by a brush. I do have a brush but I don't use it with the BB cream because it is liquid. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a makeup expert. I'm just sharing this with you guys. Okay, so you want to like rub it all over my face. So as you can see, um, this cream makes my skin a little bit lighter than before, although it's not too much light, it's not, you know, it's not obvious that you're wearing something, it's kind of like really lightening your skin and make it more like smoother than before. like this and a little bit more because I'm a bit hot here so I'm a bit more and so 
You want to make sure that your skin is even. You know, there are sometimes that um, some of the areas are still a lot lighter than the others, so you want to even that out. Okay, and spread the BB cream um, equally on our face. So, you also want to, don't forget, applying it on your, on your back because others might see that um, the skin on your back and on your front neck is different. So, you want to apply it all over. And of course, behind the ears. Okay. So, I think we're good. Okay. So, here's my face with the BB cream, so there's a difference, I think, yeah, I mean, obviously there's a difference because, but still you can see that there are um, dark spots, so that will be the job of the concealer, so um, with the concealer, I use the, uh, um, the concealer pen, I bought this on Miniso, so, any concealer we do though, so this is the cheapest that I bought. Um, I believe Maybelline is way better, but this is only for um, 99 so I'm on a tight budget. So you can use any other concealers as long as it is concealer. Um, okay, with the concealer, I don't know what is the use of it as well actually, but I use it to cover up my dark spots. Others like use it under the eye for the dark circles, but I use it also for my dark spots. Yeah. Okay, so just you know, um, cover up those dark spots that you will see, but not too much though, because you know, it will show up later on. You don't want to have like a uh, polka dots face so just um, that it, it's a way bit darker so you want to apply more of that but with those um, lighter scars so you might you want to put a little um, just a little bit Although on an active acne, or if you have an active breakout, um, you don't, you know, this will be not a, you know, very helpful, I think, because um, sometimes uh, the wound or the active acne doesn't, um, the concealer doesn't cover it as much as you know dark spots only um you might uh, you might want to try the acne first um yeah although you can still um use makeup even though you have an active acne before i use it um i'm not really satisfied with it but i still use it and it just dried up so you, now I'm just um, dabbing it so that the color of um, or the concealer will, you know, mix well with my skin and it won't give me a polka dot space. Okay, so yeah. So just dab that dab until it mixes up or blends well with your skin and totally covers cover up your um, dark. Okay, so I think I'm finished. So with the last step that I've got is to, of course, apply your powder. Okay, so I've got this um, Fashion 21 Press Powder with the color um, color 3. Um, it has some um, cucumber extract, so the sales lady told me that this will be not harmful on my skin. So yeah, okay. So, of course, you want to use this. Uh, it has a free sponge, but I recommend that you use it with a brush. 
This is also from the Fashion 21. I don't know what this is called, but it's something kind of like a micro something brush that is washable. So, but you can still use any other brush that you have as long as you know it is uh, safer. So, yeah, you just want to like okay, apply on your face. As you can see, if we don't um, dab the concealer earlier, that will appear on my face and will give me the polka dots. Kind of like pattern on my face. So you just want to like um, rub it on a circular way. Okay. And be careful guys, don't put too much powder because sometimes we get excited and you know just you know, brushing it up. You don't want to make <laughs> to be look like a clown outside. So just um, apply a thin layer of this powder because this is so much lighter. Okay. With the niche though, um, with the BB cream earlier, it has different shades. So I forgot the time, guys. So you want to choose a perfect shade for your skin tone. You don't want to like um, choose something that is way way darker than your skin. If you have lighter skin, so you want to go with one because that is the lightest. But if you have like um, a more natural skin like mine, so you want to go with two. But if you are a little bit darker, so you want to go with the I think. And don't forget to apply it on your neck, guys, because you know you don't want to have a lighter face and 